Now tell us about your memorable Christmas. The what? Your memorable Christmas. Christmas of '44. No. Well, we broke those twelve thousand, uh, six thousand mules. Sent them out. Where at? The Camp Swift, Texas. They sent in in, in September. We sent in six thousand mules. And every line out company got fifty of them. We dug. We went out and cut two big oak trees and trimmed them up and dug holes six foot deep and anchored them and with a and put a fifty. I think it was a, about a fifty or a hundred foot cable between them and tied mules from each side to the heads to the cable. And you had to walk picket line all night long. Somebody would have to because. Sometimes the mules would throw one of their heads over the other, and, and then they'd try to break away. Anyway, um, we had we broke all the mules, and now we packed up all the pack saddles and bridles and ropes and everything, and, and big boxes, uh, wood boxes, and they, we shipped them out. And they already shipped the infantry. They started to ship them the, oh, about the first of uh, the November, middle of November. And we was, uh, us and the artillery and the medics was the last ones to go out. And the, and the 24th that morning, we had Reveille, went to the mess hall and ate breakfast. And then we had to go in our barracks and lay everything we had on the, our cot. And because uh, a lot of people try to take stuff that wasn't supposed to be taken over. When we got that done, we packed our barracks bags and put them outside. And at noon, we went by the mess hall and got cold cuts with sandwiches and ate. And they said, well, the troop train will be in sometime today. And after about 4 o'clock, we grabbed our barracks bags and a rifle and walked a quarter of a mile to the railroad siding and sat there and waited and waited. And about 10.30, here come the old steam locomotive with a big old troop train. And at about 11 o'clock, we all loaded in there. And, and, and the troop train got an aisle right down the center. And there's monks five foot high, I mean five high to the ceiling. For I don't know which one, each one of them cars must have held them down there. 70 or 100 people, but anyway, our whole engineer battalion, a thousand, uh, was on that train, and we pulled out right at midnight. We didn't know where we was going and until the next morning. We was going to East Texas and Louisiana swamps, it's raining like hell. And for Chris, uh, on the troop train, they always had a uh, real mess hall. I mean, a mess uh, where they car meals. And oh, we had a delicious. Uh, you went through the line once. And you could put all the meat and trimmings on the, on your mess kit if you wanted, and go back to your room, or your coach, and eat it. And so then they announced we was going to go to Italy. Well, what right about in the middle of the night? You woke everybody up. What'd you see? Oh, uh, we got that middle of the night. Uh, they shut all the lights off in the train about eight o'clock. So us to go to sleep. And at midnight, I could hear a damn boat a horn, a horn, a horn. and I. Look uh, under our. We had the curtains pulled on the, so you couldn't see out. I looked underneath them. Hell, we was on the water, and they 
taken the train and broke it in two sections and put it on a barge and took it across the Mississippi River at New Orleans. So I woke up and I saw that and I woke three or four other guys because if I'd tell them in the morning they'd think he was dreaming. <laughs> so uh, we crossed it on that thing and it took us uh, another day and a half to get to Newport News, Virginia. And when we went through Spartanburg, uh, North Carolina, uh, we had a, a train that took on coal and water, and it was delayed there for about an hour. And that was old Sergeant Casey's uh, uh, hometown, and, it, and he he had uh, got married on the furlough before we went overseas, <laughs> and she came down there and pulled her eyes out. <laughs> so yeah, you said when you saw that, you didn't know if you're heading to Pacific or the Europe, but when you yeah. saw that you're near New Orleans, you're going to Europe. Huh? Yeah. And when did they tell you for sure you're going to Italy? When it, before, right before we got there, they said. Yeah. You be got where? Got to uh, Newport News, yeah. or? It's all right. So yep. we we shipped out. So the sec well, we uh, was there two two days I think when we had um had a take final inspection and we had a uh, oh it was it was cold and frosty in the morning and we had a practice abandoned ship. Into the light bolts. God damn, what that inch cable, you had to grab it and slide down <laughs> into that light bolt. <laughs> One guy slipped and fell in the water. <laughs> he liked the pros before we got him pulled out. <laughs> but anyway, we got on the ship and away we went. Alrighty.